up Hubco Studios in Oklahoma City. This is an OSU update with Gina Mizell. I'm Jenny Carlson. Gina, we've talked about it all through spring, the quarterback race at OSU. Is there any change in this? Or are we still sort of status quo with the guys that OSU is looking about at to replace Brandon Wheaton? Well, I think the, the biggest development last Wednesday, the last time we got to talk to people about this, talk to Mike Gundy, is he was asked if West Lunt was still in the race. Mm -hmm. And he said yes. So, I mean, it's it's not one of those situations where, you know, the true freshman's kind of fallen back and it's really a two-horse race between J.W. Walsh and Clint Shell. West Lawn's still apparently in this race and still getting an equal opportunity, but we've now passed the midway point of, of spring practice. And, again, the goal was to name a starter, but still at this point you're still seeing all three guys get equal reps. You're still seeing all three guys um, alternate with running the first-team offense. So um, it'll be interesting to see the next two weeks uh, if somebody does kind of distance themselves. And I will say, one thing that the fact that Clint Shelf has not, you know, taken a stranglehold on this job and kind of run away with it, I, I can't say that's good for him as far as, you know, winning this job because you would think the veteran would, would be the one that kind of said, okay, I'm the one with experience, here I go, I'm going to show you why I should be the starter. And that hasn't happened, so again, it'll be interesting to see what happens over the next uh, two weeks as we finish up here. Do you think there's one thing that will delineate between these guys in the end that might spell shelf getting the nod or Walsh getting the nod or maybe even Lunt getting the nod. I mean, I think it's just moving the ball down the field and building that chemistry, you know, with those wide receivers. I mean, there's so many new faces uh, or not, not necessarily new faces, but faces and now elevated roles with Justin Blackman gone and Josh Cooper gone and, you know, even Hubert Anium and Colton Shelf, the list goes on and on. So it's going to be, yeah, who, who can build the chemistry with those receivers? Who can move the ball down the field? Not always going to be, you know, who throws the prettiest ball? Because if one, if one ball out of five is pretty, not going to do much. So again, it's going to be the person that takes control of the offense is the leader and can, yeah, frankly, move the ball down the field. All right. Hey, we've got some comments from J.W. Walsh and Clint Shelf. Let's listen to those right now. Uh, you know, I know it's tough for Wes getting here and getting thrown right into the mix, but he's done a great job and, and J.W.'s continued to get better. You know, we're all out there rotating every day and we know that there's going to be some days where uh, it's going to be a bad day, maybe be a good day. You just got to stay on an even kill kind of and just kind of uh, go with the flow and make plays and make everyone else around you better. Uh, I don't think there's one key thing that I have to do. I just think that if I come out here and perform and, and you know, just keep getting better every day and, and make sure that my knowledge of the offense, knowledge of the game, and everything start clicking a lot faster, then I think that, uh, you know, uh, it'll, it'll help the team be at its best. I try not to, uh, to think about pressure or anything like that. You know, I know I've been here the longest. Uh, you know, I haven't played in very many games, though, so, I mean, I guess if, if I'm the elder statesman in that, in that category of just being here the longest, then, uh, I mean, I don't really feel any pressure that way. Just, you know, i got to go out and make everyone better. If you think about it, you know, you got Brandon Wheaton, you got to fill his shoes, and, and, yeah, that is intimidating, but, you know, all of us are, we're all different than Brandon. We all bring uh, different things to the table than Brandon did. So, you know, we try not to look at it that way. And then we try and just think that, hey, we're going to go be our, the quarterback for the team. And, you know, it's going to be a different team this year. So we're going to be a new quarterback and, and, and a new season. So that's how we look at it.